cats are the prime example of how like sometimes you don't realize what you have until it's gone they don't like cats don't like closed doors so the moment that my door shut like i just i was in here with my door shut and i went to go open the door and all of them were sitting <laughs> at the door but y'all are not interested in coming in here before i just need to keep them off the bed because i'm washing all of my sheets and my duvet cover pillowcases all that right now but i also do have a mattress like protector waterproof thing on my bed because i want to protect my mattress so this could always be washed but i don't have them on here right now but good morning guys i figured i would actually speak because my hair appointment got pushed back and i'm not gonna have to leave as soon as i thought so now i'm just chilling i am gonna edit for the time being because um i have a video that i'd really like i'm definitely gonna upload tomorrow but i'm not done editing it but i have, have plenty of time today to finish it but yeah today I am filming, well, I'm starting a weekend in my life video, so you guys are going to be spending the entire weekend with me. But yeah, today, I have a hair appointment. Um, it was an originally at 12, now it's at 1, which is fine. So with that being said, you know, I already ate, my hair's already blown out, I'll probably just touch it up before I leave if it needs it. I already have my outfit picked out. It is so hot, it's 80 degrees. I didn't even have to fully go outside to, uh, feel the intensity of the heat today. So... Keeping it cute and cool. Yeah, after doing my hair the entire week, <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I want it to be up. And then with me being out and about all weekend, I'm just not going to want to have to think about my hair. So yeah, that was cute. But uh, time for just a little break. I have plans later today as well. And just like a couple other things I need to do, do throughout the day. But for now, I'm going to edit because I'm so close to being done with this video. By the time this video is up, it, it would have been up already. I'm not going to say you guys have seen it because maybe you didn't watch it. But yeah, it's going to be like a trying different hair growth methods in my hair for a week. I'm very excited. Good morning, guys. How'd you... How'd you sleep? Um... So good. Uh, um, I, I am here. So I am not in the shower now. I just got dressed. I'm, I'm wearing this. This is my styling products in it. It and I. I always love, always love the way that my hair feels after hot oil treatment. It, it is just. Oh yeah, the gel? I'm like, what's missing? I don't know, I came up with that shit on a whim. It doesn't have to be like, perfectly slicked back. There's definitely more hair down on the other side. I'm gonna add a little more. They will never look like this again. Honestly, if I just add some water, I don't think I'm gonna diffuse it. Use it. A little gel to maybe like. All right, you guys. So I did want to say thank you to Glow Mode for working with me for today's video. So Glow Mode sent me a couple of their items, and and we're first gonna get into the material because I feel like this is one of the main things that separates Glow Mode from other brands. So for a lot of areas, you know, we're actually experiencing winter right now. So Glow Mode's clothing is made out of something that is called air plush fabric. Glow Mode is really great for layering, but avoiding sweating because you know we want to be warm, but we don't want to be excessively hot. You know, they're ultra soft to the touch. I have a pair of their leggings here right now but then on the inside they're brushed inside for added warmth but they're infused with breathable sweat wicking elements and the light is air construction so whatever you thought was impossible before consider it possible now so not only are these good for layering but as you can see they are active wear so you could also wear these to the gym and since they still have those breathable sweat wicking elements you can use them for different occasions they're very universal so along with the leggings i was sent these shorts this just goes to show that they are also great for exercise because um i feel like when layering you normally go with something a bit longer but these are perfect for the gym once again the material is amazing they're stretchy but they're still gonna hold you in and they're very flattering on these 
shorts specifically have the cross waistband so they just flatter your figure and i love how these look on me they're thick but stretchy but warm and breathable honestly i didn't even know material existed like this until i started wearing glow mode so this top specifically i've been loving i actually wore this to the gym not too long ago and i had a couple people asking me where i got it it is from glow mode once again this would be a great layering piece if I actually lived in a cold climate. I would love to wear this with a vest over top, like a puffer vest. I feel like that'd be so cute. You know, when the opportunity approaches me, I most definitely would be doing that. So yeah, I was actually able to wear this top my entire workout. And typically, if I'm wearing a top, it's going to come off due to sweating. But this, it's not uncomfortable to the point where I'm going to want to take it off. So along with that top, actually, this quarter zip that i'm wearing right now is from glow mode as well i was actually able to wear this yesterday which says a lot because it just goes to show that the material is breathable it's kind of the same material on the outside as it is within so it doesn't have like a fleece lining or anything so it's actually breathable but at the same time it's super soft and just flattering on i love the color also any quarter zip i've ever had has never came with a hood so I was very pleasantly surprised to see that this jacket came with a hood. Yeah, once again, this is something I could wear to the gym as a pump cover or just daily wear with some jeans. This would be super cute. I also got their Air Plush Wrap Crop Top. So this is what it looks like. I actually really like the color. As you can see, it does have this crisscross design on the bottom, which actually is very flattering. Once again, you could use this to work out or it could be the ultimate base layer for any outfit. All of these tops do also have the built-in thumb hole as well. I know some people are a fan of that, some people aren't, but I feel like also when it's really cold outside, the thumb hole just adds a little bit of extra warmth. It's able to cover a little bit more of your hand. With this top and the other tops I showed you guys, they include these thumb holes. So the last top that I have here, it's kind of like a cropped muscle tank type of look. I actually really like it. I don't normally go for this style, but I feel like this is super flattering on i like it paired with the glow mode leggings it's black with the red trim and it does have the built-in padding if you're not wanting to wear anything underneath this top already has it built in for you it's like a built-in sports bra almost but then also of course if you're not a big fan of that you're able to take those out but overall i really recommend shopping with glow mode the quality of the clothing speaks for itself if you guys are interested i will have all of their information links down in my description thank you so much glow mode for working with me and let's go ahead and get back into the video I don't know why all these lights turn on every time in the car. I'm on my way to my hair appointment now. I'm going to be there at 107. I had to stop um, at the gas station first. I had all the time in the world this morning to get ready, take my time, make sure I had everything that I needed. And I still forgot my tripod and oh, my water. Like, I don't know how I'm going to. I should have got one at the gas station, but I didn't realize I didn't bring my water bottle with me because I bring it everywhere. I woke up with my Jerry on and sleeping with my nose. Like, do you mind being in it or would you rather, like, not? Because <laughs> if I, I put it out today, if I put it no, here, no, you look good. I feel like if I, because I was going to say, worst case, I could blur it, but no, I'm sorry. Is my hair black? Yes, girl. I was about to say, I was just about to say, I'm, like, it's weird not seeing, like, the light ends on your hair no more. Right? Oh, yeah, thank you. I've dyed it, like, I think twice since I last saw you. Really? Yeah. Black like it? Black. I love it. I love my hair. Me too. My hair used to be like super brown when I used to get brown. Uh huh. Now it's just like black. Yeah. Yeah, I like it because then I always would get black hair when I'll get protective styles, but it wouldn't really match. But now yeah. it does. You do your own lashes? Yeah. I saw you do it one time on your video. Really? Oh my god. You know the little pieces of video where you showed taking out your locks? Can you send me that? I was actually that. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes, yeah, because people always be like, it's so hard. It's not, that hard, it's not right? at all. No, I watched one video and, um, yeah, that method. I was trying to put this. Just the chair's a little lower now. You got a new one? I did, and the quality is way better. 
It is? Yeah, it's crazy. I've been using the same camera for the last like five years, so I was like, let me upgrade. Really? Yeah. And then we was doing what it needs to do. What? For yeah. five years, it was doing what it needs to do. Well, that one specifically has, like that camera breaks easily, so I've had to purchase more than one. But, I mean, it's still a good camera. But I also like how this one, I could put a mic on it, so like I could sit here and whisper and they'd probably still be able to hear me. Really? You don't have to project your voice as much yet. Let me is send it, it was it that, that, was, that camera that everybody was like, talking about on TikTok? That's like $100. That's not no. the one you were using, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody was talking about that. Like, oh, $100 camera. Really? Yeah. <laughs> got the best compliment ever I wish I was recording so I'm like walking back to my car minding my business you know as I normally do and I have this car like I'm walking I'm almost about to get into my car there's nowhere to put this camera in here without a tripod <laughs> someone had honked at me and I just didn't look because I'm conditioned to just like I'm just gonna ignore that if I hear a honk but this it, I turned and it was this woman and she was like nice legs I'm working out for those right now you look good girl and I was like <laughs> Thank you, that's such a nice compliment. Like my legs? Like you're telling, like you gave me that compliment because you could tell I work out. That is like the best compliment ever. Thank you, I'm gonna need to add that onto the list of my new favorites. You smell good and you have nice legs. Um, You may be able to tell that I've, well, if you watch my videos, that I've had styles very similar to this before. I've pretty much had this style before. She calls this like the Dez braids, I think, because it's just what she calls the style. But as you can see, I have a bun opposed to the regular braids i wanted to get this done because it's different i was honestly kind of nervous having my hair so laid down on my head and having a bun but no i actually love it and now i don't have to worry about it being on my back because i just hate hair on my neck and back especially when it's hot it says it's 83 degrees right now on the dash so no thank you okay i need to get gas so if i see a gas station on the way i will stop but yeah i love my hair and we have the cute little heart for valentine's day i have um somebody off of task rabbit coming to my house at six because um i had an issue with my tv mount so i booked the same guy off of task rabbit because since he installed it i wanted him to see what had happened with it long story short he's coming back today he wasn't able to do it yesterday just due to my tv mount like where he has to remount it it wasn't possible with the dimensions of mine i don't fucking know like it made sense i just don't think you guys care about those details so yeah he's coming at six to hopefully do that I'd love to have the TV back up. The wall looks so empty without it. And I just want to have my TV up that's been up for months. So I don't know why it's going to take me so long to get home. Well, actually, yeah, I do. It's 4.30. Okay, guys. So update. It is 6 o'clock. It took me an hour to get home. On the way there, it was 25 minutes. And to get home, it was an hour due to the traffic. I don't know how traffic is exhausting. Something about going no more than 30 miles an hour and stopping every five seconds is just draining. But I'm so happy I ate, so I was able to, you know, contain myself better. I'm gonna be pretty busy the next couple of hours. I have the man coming to 
hopefully fix my TV. I have the mount here. You guys are sitting on it. Um, he was like waiting for me to confirm that the package came in before he came, which makes sense. So I don't know exactly when he's gonna be here, but I'm gonna need to be getting ready while he's here because I'm gonna be, I need to be leaving the house no later than 8 10 or so because i'm going to meet a friend for dinner we have reservations at nine at this like rooftop cocktail bar slash restaurant in fort lauderdale so i'm very excited fort lauderdale is further than me so i'm gonna need to leave early to get there at nine honestly that now that my hair is done it's gonna make everything a lot easier so i am going to um just do my makeup and if you guys don't hear me talking a whole lot you guys know why I have a man in my house that I don't even know. This is my third time seeing him though, so it's not really weird. I don't really feel, I don't feel awkward, but it's just like, we'll see. But you guys will definitely see me get ready. I have an outfit that I think I'm gonna wear. I tried it on yesterday, just with a different colored top, but the same top. I think I know what I'm gonna wear. Oh, let me show you the wall slash TV situation before he gets here. This is my TV, which was mounted here on the wall. And as you can see, this right here, yeah, this is what started cracking. This is what I was hearing when I tried to adjust my TV. So you can see where it was mounted before. He had to undrill it from the wall. I had to help this man. The first time he came, he had someone that came to help him. And this time he didn't, even though I told him like I have a 75 inch TV hanging from the wall. So I don't know if maybe he just put it, but hopefully like with the circumstances, why is it, oh. It's like completely out of focus, but I'm saying hopefully with the given circumstances, he brings someone because I had to help him like dismount it from the wall. And I feel like if I'm hiring someone, I shouldn't have to help. And then you expect a tip. Where's my pay? <laughs> no, nah, but I'm like, I'm literally five, four. I'm strong. I'm tiny, but mighty. But that is not my job. That's why I'm hiring you. So please bring your, your coworker. I'm gonna wash my face first because I didn't do that this morning. And I need a clean base for my makeup. Let me charge my phone so that's fully charged as well. I'm still gonna talk to the camera even though he's here. I was editing when he was here yesterday. And for all he knows, I could be chatting with a friend. Oh, you know what else came in? Also, actually, no, it's fine. Since I'm gonna film with the other camera, I don't need to clear storage. I wanted to go to Best Buy and get a 256 gigabyte SD card because I've been spoiled with the 256. And since I bought the SD cards for this camera, I got two 128s. But how fast the 128 runs out and I barely, like I haven't even filmed half a video is just not gonna work. 256 is amazing because I was able to get multiple videos out of the same SD card. But now that I think about it, I wonder if the quality of the footage, the fact that it's HD, it's so high res that it takes up more storage. Cause I feel like even with a 128, I could normally get way more footage. I got this mirror because I don't have one of these anymore. The other one I had for years and it um, broke and I've never, <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never had one that lights up like this. This eyelash is seriously hanging by a thread and looks atrocious, but then it looks like to look weird without it, yeah, it like cuts off to a rope. I love this mirror. It's amazing. And I'm totally, oh my gosh, and it has, damn. You know the side that shows you very up close? I see eye crust on my eye. I did not see whatsoever. Damn. I don't know if I like this or not. Like, shows everything. It makes me feel like I need to touch up my eyebrows. Like, they're already going out since I shaved them. No, I like it because you can focus on the, wow, this is amazing. Ever since I've been doing my individuals, honestly, I love just the bare face and lashes look, especially considering where I live. It's so damn hot here all the time. So that being said, typically when I wear makeup, it just feels super heavy and I just prefer to, you know, be able to sweat in peace. I don't know, like if I'm gonna be sweating, I don't wanna sweat with concealer and just makeup on. So I keep it pretty minimal. But for something like this, I wanna like actually get ready. Like this is fun and I'm happy I get to do it twice this weekend okay so i'm gonna start with my eyebrows i think hello hey Aubrey, I'm here in the front door. 
Okay, I'm coming. One second. So my makeup is pretty much done. Just another thing that I like to do to make my eyes pop. My makeup just looks so, like my eyes look unfinished. So I take a black eyeshadow and I put it on my waterline or outside my waterline, not really neat. So just, I'm gonna show you the difference. Just makes it look so much more like, makes my eyes pop. And then I also add mascara. See, I do this, and I kind of prefer the no makeup. Like, I just don't want to look like I'm wearing birthday makeup. I don't think I do. <laughs> but. I gotta clean up, clean up a little bit. Looks good. Okay, I think that's it. I'm gonna use my all nighter ultra glow setting spray. And that is it. And I'm done like an hour early. But that way, there's absolutely no way I'm going to be late. I can get there at a good time. Make sure I find parking. Oh, yeah. So as far as my outfit, I got some new jeans recently at Abercrombie. And along with those, I also got these. They're a part of the same collection, the 90s relaxed jean ultra high rise. But these are not jeans. But they're the same style. They're just in a like faux leather pant version, I guess is what you'd call this material. I don't know. They're so cute. They're so flattering on. And I think for my top, I was going to wear this top in green, but I kind of want to do an all black look. So I'm just wearing this black wrap top because I like how this fits. So you cannot see Jack's cheek. This is an outfit without the pants. Can't even see it because it's all black. I think I like this. This angle is just not like, let's take this off. Okay, maybe this is better so you can actually like we can talk face to face instead of like y'all all the way up here. Um, wait, I just have to figure out what heels I want to wear. Let's see. Honestly, both of these need tighter holes. Like, I'm about to just make a new hole with the piece that goes. Hi. I will, one second. Something about the outfit is throwing me off. I don't understand why they make them all the way at the end. Like if I needed that, I would have gotten a bigger size. I just feel like I like this does not look like it's just kind of there. It's not like damn that looks good. It's just like um only four holes and they're all like I don't know. Maybe it's the top. Maybe it's the makeup. I genuinely think I looked better earlier today. <laughs> um. This is why you get ready early, so you have time to figure it out. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Maybe it's the top. You know, I do not like the makeup. And this clip's taken off. But I do have um, two other tops I'm gonna try on because I feel like this one is just not it. Yeah, I hate this too. I think it's the entire outfit actually. I said I wasn't gonna wear a dress because it's not like a super dressy vibe, but a dress also wouldn't be an issue. Maybe that'll just be easier. Skim stress moment, maybe. I hate the makeup. <laughs> yeah, I think it's everything combined. I'm not like, bleh. I'm taking off this makeup. I honestly truly hate it. This is why I don't do it anymore. I don't like it. Bye. But then I feel like that's such a waste. I'm gonna get back to y'all when I get my shit together. I just need, but after everything I just did to get ready, I took off all of my 
well not all of my makeup i left the eyebrows the lashes are always on um the waterline bottom mascara i reapplied blush and i took off the lip color too i wasn't feeling that either so yeah i just did regular lip gloss i don't know like the last time i fully did my makeup when i went out with my friends when i was in orlando i really liked how that looked but i don't know this is just what was calling my name tonight maybe i need to update my mega routine or i don't know maybe i just like how i look without it that's a possibility too yeah every outfit i was absolutely hating but i did just throw on this skims dress like completely different outfit pretty much exactly what i said i was not gonna wear i don't even know if this is what i'm gonna wear i have the skims dress in brown black this like mustardy color i have it in gray also have like a long black one maybe i could try that on but i think i'm feeling this i also just put on these heels where i don't have to worry about um they don't have the strap you just put them on it's so much i'm gonna try on a long black one and just see just in case i'm feeling that more but I have this black dress, but also I have this dress I got from Pretty Little Thing and never wore because it was a little small. I wish I would have gotten it a size up, like a six. This is a four. Let me try this because this isn't like... I think this dress is cute, but it's really short. Let's see. Okay, so update, I'm switching to the G7X for the rest of the evening, or at least until I get back home because the other camera was giving me a headache and I already, like the other SD card got filled up as well. But this is the dress that I was showing you guys and what it looks like. I like this dress more than the other one because it's more formal fitting. So I feel like it's more flattering and shows more of like my actual shape. Um, it's just a little short. Once again, I wish it was a size bigger, but it works. Like it's not as short as I think. I just have to be careful with it, but it's so flattering. I feel like this is definitely my favorite thing I've put on so far. Walking into the parking garage with this, um, I think I'm gonna drive the Mustang too because the Mercedes has no gas, does not have nearly enough gas to get me there. But the Mustang has a full tank, so why would I wanna fill up a full tank when I already had a full tank, you know? Plus, I was wishing that I drove it earlier, so. It's out there, but what's wrong with that? <laughs> My bathroom is a mess from trying stuff on, but yeah, I think this is the look. I like how open the back is, but no, this is it. Like, I was just not feeling other outfits, but I feel like this looks good. You look amazing. The thing is, it's a shorter dress, but this, I think since I'm stretching it out because it's so tight, it kind of stays down. Like it's not really, it doesn't ride up too much. Also, I took the bra off because it was very unflattering and it's fine without it. I don't want like a like black bra straps with this lighter dress. Seriously, that would be catnip. Fine, I don't get mad at them. I could just vacuum it up and this will keep them busy while I'm gone. Yeah, I have 170 miles in here. Not full, but it's more than 15. Time with your girl and I swear we play soccer. Damn, oh, I keep 24 karat seeing a dog. Uh, yeah, last night it was dark. Asleep. Asleep. A Z L I A. That's a unique name. Thank you. My parents just made it up. Your parents? Yeah, I don't know where it came from. Oh, 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 that's. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's different though. You know, it's different. That's what's yeah. up. You about to go turn up. No, I'm just nope. eating. I'm hungry. Just eating? Okay, alright. Um, key inside. Where do I go? Uh, are you going to stay or are you going to the tennis? Oh, wait. Yeah, never mind. I think that's my friend right there. Okay, thank you. And, um, yeah. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, okay, how are you? Good. I'm great. Thank you. Thank you. I literally can't. I have to walk and 
not flash my ass cheek. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, yeah, I need. I have flip flops in the car actually. Um, no, I'm okay. No? Thank you. You good? Yeah. Thank you, you too. Um, where are my shoes? Do you see shoes over there? Yeah. Ah. Thank you, you too. Bye. <laughs> see ya! <laughs> see you, eh? Bus U turn? Yeah. Alright, you'll just have to tell me where to go so I don't. Right here? Yeah. I'm just gonna park it like what day? Alright, you guys. Um, it is currently 2 a.m. Um, I mean, considering I got home at 1 a.m., it's understandable. But my dumbass, I realized it on the way home that I had never put my sheets that I put to wash. Like everything on my bed that I put in the wash this morning um, was never dried. So I had to do that the moment I got home. Thankfully, it didn't smell or anything. That would suck. But I, shit, if I had to, I would definitely just not crawl right on this mattress cover. I'm back on the big camera. I am so spo spoiled with this camera now. This quality is just uh, insane difference um i had so much fun though i'm not i'll talk like more tomorrow i'm tired i need to go to bed but i also do need to make my bed at 2 a.m in order to sleep so one second Good morning, guys. Right now it's like 9 20 ish. Yeah. It's 9 24. Normally I wouldn't be as tired at this time, but for obvious reasons I am. But it's okay. I'm up because I have a acupuncture appointment at 10 30. So normally when it's time for that, I don't do a whole lot to get ready at all. It's just breakfast. I need to make sure I eat before I go. And that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so it is 10 16 and I'm on my way to my acupuncture appointment. I just definitely need to stop to get gas. So I'm doing that first. Oh my God, I nearly knock out every time. Oh my gosh. Oh, my hand feels so weird. That's just how everything's connected, I guess. I didn't have any in my hands, but like, oh my gosh. Like, That's why I like leaving the house in the evening too because it's not hot. Also, it's 82 right now. <sighs> I wish I would have recorded her first reaction whenever she walked into the room. She saw me, she was like, wow. Like she was so excited to see. Cause I mean, she had never seen my face, how it normally looks whenever, cause you know, whenever I first started coming, it did not look how it normally does. So keep doing what you're doing. Love that smile. It was just, good time my hand my arm feels like kind of not numb but like it's asleep it's really hard to explain but it'll go away okay it's 11 43 i need to edit i have a call at two clean my place So, a 
update because I've not recorded in the last few hours. You know, I was editing a little bit. I had to eat. There was no way I was able to film without getting some food in my system. I'm loading up the dishwasher now with some dishes. So I don't have to wash them. I don't know how the hell I went so long without using this previously. It is such a lifesaver to just have it running before you go to bed. Wake up in the morning with clean dishes that smell super fresh and they're warm. And all you have to do is put them away. Definitely the way to go. But I just got off a call with a new accountant that is going to be, you know, helping me with my taxes and filing those for this year. I'm washing my comforter again, just so for when my friend comes over, perfectly clean. I plan on straightening up my place, which it's not too bad. It's mostly just wiping things down, putting some things away, mopping. That's really all it ever is. So I didn't really tell you guys at all what I'm doing later. So I'm going out again with one of my friends, but well, we're going to dinner and then we're also going to a club. It's like a bar slash club i've never been it's in brickle and i've never been out in brickle before only winwood brickle's nice though i really it's a nice vibe at night it's nice in general so i am so excited my friend and i have been talking about it for the last couple of days just how excited we are she's gonna come over and you're we're gonna you know get ready pre-game a little bit ubering of course we have reservations at a place called talkology at, is it at nine or ten? Oh shit it's not a talkology i forgot because they didn't have availability pub belly sushi at 10 p.m. So update, I am showered. I wanted to just take a shower even though I'm gonna, well, I don't know if I'm gonna shower later. I feel like, <laughs> we'll just see where the night takes us, but I highly doubt it to be honest. After cleaning and running around all day, I just wanted to, you know, bathe. I just sneezed, so now I'm gonna sound congested for a little bit. I'm about to do this lip scrub, but all I did was look in this mirror because it has like the side where you can look at your face really close up. And that's all it took for me to go in and shave my face with this. I also touched up my eyebrows, touched up my lashes, put a couple more individuals on, took some off that were looking not the best. I'm doing this lip scrub right now. And then, I tried not to get it in my mouth, but it tastes really good. That reminds me, I make lip scrubs when I was like 12 years old and I'll just end up eating the whole thing. It was just like sugar, like olive oil and flavoring. So of course I'm gonna eat it. Okay, lips are moisturized. And then I did want to go ahead and put on these lash or nails. But my friend, her name's Alyssa. She is on the way currently. We're gonna get ready together, pregame together. I'm super excited. You guys don't know Alyssa like that. Um, Alyssa was in my, well, whenever I did the recap, she was with me for my 21st birthday, basically. I'm also gonna do, put on a lot of deodorant. I'm gonna go do these in the living room and I'm gonna file them a bit as well. I'm gonna keep my phone on me so I know when she's here. And I don't want something that all prevents pregnancy. Such a reason how could I hurt? Look at the sweater, same thing with the bag, same thing with the earring. Moment since this as well. Perfect. 
essential. The only essential. So we were lost everything. All right, I just finished getting ready. Time was kind of break down. I took a bath and tried to explain that this is for control. So these are just a little bit of clips I was able to get considering the state I was in and the circumstances. If you guys have ever been out before, I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> So it was while Alyssa and I were at dinner, I went to go and try to film our meal on the camera and that's when I realized my SD card was left at home. So this is us, I had gotten an Uber so we could go to CVS in order for me to get an SD card so I could actually film. Okay. 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 The what? The name oh. on the thing is Ashanti. Yes. Oh. Ashanti? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a piece of name. Yeah, I definitely need band-aids. If I see it, like, if there's oh, an SD yeah. card, I'll say, yeah. I never okay. closed the micro and stuff. How cute. Okay, that's perfect. So 32 is going to last me 20 seconds. Really um, interesting. Definitely. I was actually going to ask you because I'm like, what does, like, like how long would that? That like, would get you nowhere. Like, really? maybe like, 10 realistic. minutes. Oh, damn. And yeah. Y'all be recording for hours. Exactly. So 128 you, is like the uh, minimum. Damn, you better drop like. How much do you go through? Okay. I mean. Give it a month. I normally have like a 256 okay. gigabyte SD card. <laughs> this is so expensive because normally I pay like maybe twenty dollars. Damn, that's the most one that we've ever seen here. <laughs> Open it now and throw it away so that by the time he gets here. Okay. We're Wait. To... Quick! 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 Oh, I love the case. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Okay. Yay, it works. Okay, are you ready, girl? Yeah. I have to use the bathroom. Yeah. <sighs> Look how much better this is. Okay, I can understand. Yeah. And I can also check, because if that's the camera that you're like comfortable and like used to filming with, yes. it's not going to look Exactly. I'm going to film on my phone at like... So now you know, yes. if you're ever in a situation, CBS or Walgreens, yes. Literally has it. Running to the bathroom. Yeah. Like, this is the atmosphere. This is what we're working with. This is in the bathroom. The music is so loud. I know.
You know the music was terrible when I was complaining about it while drunk. It still matters. It still matters. Overall, Blackbird experience, I'd give it a smooth 6 out of 10, maybe 5. Um, I don't think I'd go back. The music was ass. The crowd was not really it. Um, I mean, of course, the women were nice. The bathroom stalls at clubs are always the best part of going out. But, um... Good morning, guys. It is 10.25, and I should definitely still be asleep, considering we got home at 5 a.m. Yeah, because we were, like, still in the area, but heading back home at 4.45. So, I actually probably got here after 5 a.m. I don't know. Yeah, I should definitely still be asleep. I woke up in my head, like, it's not terrible, thankfully. It doesn't feel like major hangover, but I just have a headache. Um, I don't feel amazing, but I also don't feel like shitty, but that like headache. It's like right here oh, I didn't even take off my makeup last night. I looked up at myself in the mirror when I got up this morning I was like damn why I look like kind of good like I already got ready because he never got unready, babe I like how I went through hell and back to um, get an SD card just to film little to nothing It's so easy to say. Oh, yeah film at the club but like camera's gonna be out and then whenever you're in the moment it's like the last thing you're thinking about like the fact that i was barefoot in that bathroom speaks for itself that is so gross thankfully like i didn't shower before i went to bed but i did wash my feet because subconsciously i knew them i'm shit they've been through hell and back last night my head hurts so bad okay well maybe next time i'll film more <laughs> and i'll be fully prepared i did not like my outfit last night like I didn't like the look in general. What would I have done to actually like it? I don't know. I think it's the hair. Like, I like the hairstyle, but certain styles only look good with, like, certain outfits to me. I miss this camera every time I'm out filming with it. It's so nice. I think it's such good quality. I need to edit is what I need to do, but I don't think I should be looking at a screen right now. Oh, my gosh. I'm surprised my mom hasn't texted me. Oh, my face burns because I shaved it last night. I literally drive to Orlando today. <sighs> I still feel like drunk in a way, which probably means I'm not over it. Normally I don't feel anything the next day, but we had like, I don't know how many shots. How much money did I spend on shots? Dude. Two shots or $27, and we did that multiple times. One of the times, the lady had said, like, it's on her, so we didn't have to pay. But I only got two of them. $20 Uber ride home, $27 for shots twice. $6 Uber to go to Walgreens for the SD card. Food was 66 so, yeah. Damn, she got a lot of shots then. Sitting on the balcony, my ice roller. Alright guys, so it has been about three hours since I last talked to you guys. I've been editing the entire time I was not filming. That's what it took in order for me to complete the video that I've been trying to get done pretty much all week. I mean, it took four days to film and then it took about six days to edit. I don't really know how long I've been editing that, honestly, but that shit is an hour and 16 minutes long. It's actually two minutes longer than the very first trying new curly hairstyles for a week video I did. So that's cool how they're so similar in length. 
but yeah i feel so much better i've eaten i've drank like a whole bottle like my water bottle i bring around i'm gonna drink another and now i plan to leave because did i even say that i'm doing that i plan to go take a little road trip to orlando to go um see paige because i've not seen her in like four months three or four months which is unacceptable so yeah i was gonna leave tomorrow but then not too long ago we had kind of changed plans and said i was gonna come tonight or like early evening so that way because i'm gonna be there till the 15th i leave the 15th so we'd at least get two full days which i'd much rather spend more time with her than also it's better for me because if i'm driving i could at least stay like, i could stay for more than one day it is um 3:51. i had originally planned to leave around this time exactly but I was not leaving until that video was completed because there's I know I wasn't gonna I don't want to have to worry about editing when I'm there filming yeah I'll film but edit no it's still time consuming filming I just film what I'm already doing so yes um that's all done there's no rush though like we don't have any as long as I'm there tonight so we could start you know tomorrow super excited to see her I have yet to pack so I'm gonna pack up two bags instead of a suitcase so I I think I'm gonna bring these two bags because I'm only staying two full days and this would just be easier. I'm really not gonna I'm gonna try to not pack a whole bunch because I really don't need to. So yeah, I'm gonna pack. Okay, let's just start with like comfy clothes. I'm definitely gonna need to eat when I get there. I just, I have really not had any time to just rest like thoroughly this weekend or like take breaks. But that's okay because it's all, it's all good stuff. But I just got a pink drink. I got some egg bites and I got a lemon loaf just to tie me over. Those egg bites have like 20 grams of protein in them. So that's good for the time being. Something. I have 213 miles. It's gonna take me 249 to get there. Do I stop? No, I just want to start heading that way because I'm already leaving a lot later than I had initially planned. It's all good. Yeah, I'm super excited. It says I'm gonna get there three and a half hours. Yeah, not a bad drive. We're just gonna chill, listen to music. It is now 8.16. I have an hour and six minutes left. 75 miles. I am so tired. Yeah, I'm just tired. I want to eat. And that's about it. I finally put my car in cruise control. And they're focusing on the steering wheel. For the first one. Which one do you want first? Oh, wait, you said garlic. Yeah. Do you want garlic with like like the Italian like style? Um, I don't like garlic. No? Okay. Do you want the Parmesan with it too? Yeah. So you want both of the shredded and then the Parmesan grated? Yeah, that's fine. Oh my gosh. You want to put it here? Yeah. One of the ones probably can taste, but um... Yeah, I thought a cheese and cheese would be good. I don't know. The, the crisp edge. And like walnut in it. I just kind of like made mine like a burrito. It's perfect. <laughs> so good for it. Oh yeah. The shape of the pickle. It's hard to roll. Mm, yeah. Dude, this looks spectacular. Like, oh, oh, look how perfect. <gasps> yeah, blue like cheese has this like tang to it. You know, it's good, it's good. We got it. Yeah. yeah. Ew, I shouldn't have done this on the damn napkin. I'm like embedding it into the. Oh shit, we could have done it on the cutting board. <laughs> it's kind of hard without like 
I'm just going like this because I can't like get in there with a fork, you know? <laughs> Do you want a fork? Nah, no, it's not okay. I mean like when you use a fork and a knife to cut, you know? Yeah, no, I got you. It, this, is, you this is perfect. It is. It's so gooey. Here. It's warm. Are you okay? Are your hands not like... No, it's dripping. So yeah, like... but how are you holding it? It's so hot. I don't know. I'm just holding it. Oh, Ready? oh my god. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm -mm. It's actually really good. Why does it actually taste like bread, though? It's very salty. It is. Oh, oh good. That is really good, though. Yeah. It might be like the combo of the cheese and the pickle, though. I think the pi that pickle is really salty. Mm. I was going to say, because cheese isn't that salty by itself. No, I think it might be the pickle. I don't know. I think that's enough oil. I'm not gonna put any more oil. I can come with it. Oh shit, you wanna take a picture of it? Oh, well, you can, I'll do it after. 